we still have a long way to go and changing the, the culture in the way police officers do the work. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd was murdered when Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin knelt on Floyd's neck for over nine minutes while he was handcuffed and lying face down in a street. A Montreal lawyer who advocates for people in cases claiming police brutality and racial profiling says George Floyd represents so many other cases before and after his, even in Quebec. When I saw what happened to George Floyd, that the uh, the, the technique police have actually uh, taken a, a person and put in the the knee on their on their neck. I thought that was something that you used to see only in the U.S. And after that, getting testimony from people, getting people came to come into my office and saying, "Well, that's the way I've been arrested." In my in my caseload, I have at least at least five person along them, two minors who have been arrested with that technique. 18-year-old Pacific Neo Quizera is another one of Belton's clients who back in November was seen on video being violently apprehended by police during a night out. Already down on the ground, the officer is seen jamming snow in the face of the black teen. He was left with a swollen face and a bloodshot eye. People who have committed murder that are not racialized, you see how the way they are arrested and you compare what we are actually reproaching my client, you, you see the difference of treatment and that alone is uh, an, an evidence of racial profiling. They're now launching a civil suit against Quebec City seeking $180,000 in damages for himself and his family. It's something that I want the court to look at because we have not a lot of um, case law where um, the judges have, have actually analyzed the the, uh, the effect of racial profiling on the way racialized people are being treated by police officers. He says this unjustifiable treatment links to racial stereotypes that some police officers may have of black people that leads to profiling them when it comes to crimes. We have an issue of racial profiling along police force here in Canada as well. As well, that's that's without a doubt. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. He's now working to seek justice for people like Pacific, much like George Floyd, to make sure officers change the way they carry out arrests. It's not something easy, but I think if we bring more awareness, we have more um, people who are actually making complaints. Hopefully, that will follow up, go uh, up in the p people who are actually making decisions. Our politician, and we're hoping to see change in Montreal. Alicia Rubertucci, City News.